So this is the more recent mortising machine that I've refurbished. Again, it uses an end mill to create the slots. The work surface has been upgraded with toggle clamps. And you can see in the images how the work table, the work surface has been upgraded to hold the components for furniture. This router as opposed to the, uh, the hand drill in the earlier version. So this is an overhead view of the uh, slot mortising, horizontal mortising setup I have along with the work holding that I've added to, uh, to help with uh, mortising rails and styles. And the end mill creates the slots and it's driven by router and the work surface was pre-existing and the, I added the toggle clamps for work holding. And this is a sampling of all the components for the stand for a display cabinet using the loose tenon joinery. So I was... Uh donated this uh, XY 3-axis uh, horizontal mortiser this summer and I spent a considerable amount of time restoring it although it wasn't too far gone. It's approximately 50 to 60 years old. It's an XYZ mortiser, probably used in a commercial, commercial environment in a, in a shop. And uh, so I've re-established the, uh, the work holding, added some toggle clamps and some fixtures to be able to uh, mortise rails and styles using an upcut spiral bit, the 3 inch, and then I've added the uh, DeWalt fixed base uh, router to it. Then the rods lubricated them, it was fairly seized and it wouldn't work at all, but, but it works. It glides really well now in, in all three axes and it's portable. So I set it up on this stand and set up the work holding and I'm thoroughly impressed with, uh, with, uh, with its potential. It's not quite as versatile as the Domino XL a smaller 500 or 700 but because you need to bring the work to the uh, to the machine here it's uh, its versatility is uh, manifests itself in uh, in, uh, in repeatability and uh, I'm working on multiples so it's just a matter of clamping work down once you set up the uh, horizontal the, uh, the XYZ portion here with the, uh, the sliding toggle clamps and just repeatedly create Loose uh, mortises for loose tenons, and uh, so it's set up for uh, rails and styles at the moment. And I can't, I'm not going to give you a demonstration, but I've had to. Uh, one other thing I've had to do is actually fix that rudder, attach it to the to this base, as it was not oriented or not drilled through correctly for that type of router. So I had to play around with that and make sure and ensure it was centered. So I'm uh, thoroughly impressed and uh, looking forward to spending more time on this in the next uh, few weeks. Two reference surfaces.
So you can see how precise the fit is of the loose tendon within both the rail and the style or the table leg. And the loose tendon is, uh, fits very well and is accurately uh, oriented within the slot. And so this is where this particular mortising machine excels in its versatility and repeatability. And this has become my go-to machine when I, when I like to do uh, loose tendon joinery. The completed uh, loose tendon mortises for uh, the legs, rails, and aprons can be seen here. All the components have loose tendon joinery now. And this is an example of the uh, subsequent rail and style joined together with the loose tendon joint.